Hiya! So in this video, we're going to look at an example of a sampling with replacement. So in this case, what we have is we're going to stick to this bar, uh, bag of marbles because for me personally, this is kind of the best way to imagine this, but there's always, there's more than one way to see these things. Uh, so let's highlight the key information. So we have a bag, bag with 20 marbles. So I know there's 20 marbles in the bag and we want to know how many are red. So I don't actually know how many are red, but that's what I'm trying to calculate. So we pull out a marble and put it back in, pull out a marble, put it back in, pull out a marble, put it back in. Um, and we do this 35 times. After 35 times, we're going to notice that 25 are red. Now, what's the probability that um, the a marble is red in this bag? So what's the, what, we're trying to calculate the probability of, of, of the things being red. Uh, and then we're going to redo this if we pulled out 10 marbles and 7 are red. So let's kind of look at this. So here, what do we have? Uh, we have um, n is equal to 20. We know there's 20 marbles altogether. We know n is equal to r plus b. We don't know what um, r is. We don't know what b is. So for now, we're just going to leave these blank. Um, I know I pull 35 times. So I know little n is 35. Um, we'll let little r be 25 because that's what we kind of calculate. So what this means is my p hat is 25 over 35. Um, and so this is nothing more than five sevenths, right? So our, we have roughly five sevenths um, relative frequency. So if I wanted a 99.9% .9 confidence interval, what do we do? Well, I just look at my interval. P is going to be in the interval uh, P hat minus square root of two, uh, minus two over square root of N. Um, and p hat plus 2 square root of n, right? So let's plug in these in. This is 5 sevenths minus 2 over um, 35. And then 5 sevenths plus 2 over 35. Uh, and this gives us roughly the range 0 0.376, uh, 224, and 1.052374. Uh, if you think about this, this is not a very good interval. It's basically, we, it's saying we have either, we have between 37%, so P is between 37% and 105%. Like that's telling us nothing. Uh, so let's look at 95% accuracy. Let's look at a 95% confidence interval and see what this changes. And so 95%. Basically, everything stays the same, except we have 1 over square root of n. And this I didn't calculate yet, um, where this 95% is. This should be something you can do. So if you're not understanding where this is coming from, go back and try to uh, figure out where this not, how this 95% interval is coming from. Uh, and if you have questions, just ask it in the Monday update. Uh, so here, we just put the numbers in again. 5 sevenths minus 1 over square root of 35. 5 sevenths plus 1 over square root of 35. This is equal to roughly uh, 0 0.5452 and 0 0.8833. I guess I don't need that big of a thing. So basically what we're saying with 95% chance, the actual probability is between 55%, I guess I'll round down to 54, 54% to 88%. Or 89, I guess I'll round up for that one. So 95% of the time, our interval is gonna, our probability is going to be between 54 and 89%. This is a much more strict bound, right? At least it's no longer 105%. We can't have more red marbles than actual marbles. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of notice the more bags we pull, the better our probability is going to be, because um, this is going to increase, right? This is going to increase. So let's redo this if we only have 10 marbles. Um, you'll notice that we're not actually going to be changing much. What we end up changing is just this p hat. So p hat in this case, so we have n is equal to 10. And we made r equal to 7. So p is equal to 7 tenths. Right? So we have this is r over um, n. Um, 
And so let's calculate our 99 and 95% um, accuracy. So 99%, 99.99%. So we do the same thing. So we end up getting uh, 7 tenths minus 2 over square root of 10. And 7 tenths plus 2 over square root of 10. And this turns out to be roughly 0 0.0675 uh, and 1.33. So basically, in this case, since we don't have, we have even less information, we did only 10 trials. We know P is between um, 6% and 133% with 99.9. So we're pretty, we're really confident it's there. If we like a 95%, this almost, this changes by a little. We have one over square root of 10, seven tenths plus one over square root of 10. Uh, did I have room here? I had room here. Well, too late now. Uh, this is equal to 0 0.03837 um, and 1.016. So in this case, we have P is between, um, this should not be a zero here, 0 0.3, between 38% and 101% with 95 confidence, 95% confidence. So what you'll notice here is doing the trial um, 10 times with 95% confidence will end up between 38 and 100%. But if I do this trial 35 times, then I get a 99.9% .9 of being roughly in the same interval. So this is what I'm saying. The higher we make our N, the more probable we are in finding our um, actual probability. Um, and that will actually give us a nice um, distribution or a nice way of approximating things. Um, like another thing what we want to do is how does this um, affect the global population? Like, right, so we want to know what the actual probability is. Um, so we want to know what is the probability of, give, of getting a certain distribution in the sample size. So in this case, what we know is um, like, oh, sorry, if what we know is if we already know the proportion in the large population, so say we know um, R, right? So this is, we know R, we know big R. Um, what is the probability of getting a certain distribution in the smaller space? So like if we found a certain distribution, how accurate is that? Like what, what are the chances of getting this? Uh, and this we actually kind of saw, right? So the way to get this probability is P, um, we want to get R red um, out of, oh, this should be little r, I think. We want R red out of N poles. Um, and this is N choose R uh, P to the R, 1 minus P to the N minus R, right? Um, and so this is the chance of getting R things um, in N poles. And that's it. So this we kind of saw. So in the next um, video, we'll look at sampling without replacement. We'll do a very similar thing. We'll look at examples um, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, so I will see you in the next video.